Welcome to Know It All, a place to connect with researchers to answer all questions on health, science, technology, business, culture and more. This episode on what is the history of the internet was created for you by Rain. In this topic, Know It All will answer. What is the ARPANET? How was email created? Who invented the World Wide Web? How has the internet changed since its advent? The internet as we know it today is a vast global network of computers linked together to enable communication and the sharing of information. But, how did this massive system come about? Here's a brief history lesson on the development of what has become an essential part of everyday life for many people around the world. It all started in 1969 with ARPANET, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, which was developed by DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, then known as ARPA, during research into new technologies related to national defense applications. The idea behind ARPANET was that if one computer node went down due to enemy attack or other means, data could still be routed via alternative pathways thanks to a decentralized networking architecture using packet switching technology, a revolutionary concept at that time. This early version connected four computers at University College London, UCL, Stanford Research Institute, SRI, UCLA and UC Santa Barbara via telephone lines using dial-up modems that operated on an experimental packet-switching protocol called NCP, Network Control Protocol. During those times few people knew how much potential lay ahead but over time users started utilizing these resources more extensively than just data sharing between researchers across different universities. In 1971, Ray Tomlinson invented email when he used two machines connected by ARPANET, before his invention messages had only been sent between users logged onto the same machine over time-sharing systems like CTSS slash Multics etc., but not across different networks, until now. This proved extremely useful for military personnel who needed quick access to a means of communication without having to physically travel long distances. This allowed for them to send important documents securely to their desired recipients much more quickly than ever before possible. From here onwards, usage rapidly increased among universities and businesses alike so they could collaborate efficiently remotely while retaining full control over their own local resources, thus making distributed computing feasible instead of just centralized mainframes being the exclusive domain of large organizations alone. In 1983 TCP IP protocols replaced NCPs due to their superior reliability and scalability allowing multiple nodes within local area networks to connect together creating multi-node wide area networking systems known as internets outside government control. This led us towards the modern era where commercialization began taking place providing endless opportunities. The World Wide Web WWW is a global network of interconnected computers that enable users to access and communicate with each other over the internet. It was first developed in 1989 by British computer scientist Sir Tim Berners-Lee, who coined the term World Wide Web as an easy way for people to navigate information on different websites around the world. Berners-Lee had been working at CERN since 1984 where he created various software programs such as Inquire, which allowed him to easily search through text files stored on his computer system using hypertext links between them. In March 1989, he proposed a project based off of this concept which would create something called the Mesh-Dash now known as the World Wide Web, connecting existing networks together while also allowing more efficient searches among documents located across multiple systems simultaneously rather than having to manually look up data from individual machines or databases individually every time it needed to be updated or accessed. Having secured funds from CERN after proposing his idea three months earlier in June 1990, Berners-Lee wrote code for what became HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and URLs, Uniform Resource Locator. He then publicly released these tools online making WWW available free of charge so anyone could benefit regardless if they worked within some large organization like universities or government agencies. With all these pieces finally coming together, on August 6, 1991 Tim announced the completion of the initial development work and made the web accessible to everyone without charging a fee thereby giving birth to the internet we use today. By 1992 there were already 50 servers connected worldwide providing resources such as educational materials, government publications, news articles etc. As technology advanced rapidly during the mid-90s that number steadily rose until late 1999 when it surpassed the 1 million mark, 
representing a tremendous growth trend that has continued ever since. The present-day total of is an estimated 26 billion pages indexed on Google alone. This incredible evolution has drastically changed how humanity interacts, communicates, shares knowledge, and even does business globally due to its widespread availability, accessibility, and usability. Since its advent, the internet has changed drastically. In today's digital world, it is hard to imagine life without the internet and all of its possibilities. From web browsing capabilities to streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, from social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter for connecting with friends around the globe, from video conferencing tools such as Skype or Zoom for virtual meetings, there are countless ways in which we can use technology powered by this global network of networks. Over time various improvements have been made regarding bandwidth speeds helping to improve loading times significantly thus enabling faster download slash upload rates, making audio and video streaming possible and paving the way for YouTube. All this served to revolutionize the entertainment industry forever beyond the traditional television medium. Security measures were implemented resulting in the rise of numerous authentication methods including SSL certificate securing information exchanged during transactions and protecting customer privacy, while allowing the e-commerce sector to grow exponentially, as well as powering the cryptocurrency market. Lastly, the cloud computing evolution enabled companies to store massive amounts of datasets securely, saving costs associated with hardware investments and further increasing the efficiency of collaboration among distributed teams staying online 24 by 7 regardless of geographical boundaries ultimately transforming the lives of millions of individuals worldwide. Thank you for listening. For more answers to questions on health, science, technology, business, culture and more, don't forget to subscribe to Know It All.